Okay, we're going to be working on part 208-6-46, um, the saddle. So let's see, the width of this part is uh, 144 millimeters. That's the length from here to here. The entire depth of, across this or across the top of it, if it were laying down, is 50 millimeters, which also then means that that radius right there is 25. The height from here up to the tip top is 56 millimeters. The thickness all the way around this whole piece is 12 millimeters, and the hole goes all the way through both places is 26 millimeters. Okay, we'll go ahead and go into AutoCAD. We're going to start by um, clicking on, um, let's see, we'll start by changing their UCS to the front. Uh, I'll go ahead and move this this way. Oops, um, I don't know why it's doing that, but I'll turn this so it's correct. And I'm going to go ahead and click Align. And we'll go over 140. Right? Um, hit Escape, double-click the mouse wheel to zoom the extents. Make another line, and I'm going to go up. That distance was 56, if I remember correctly. The height was 56. So we'll go up 56. Go over 12. Um, I don't know what we're going to do yet. Uh, I don't want to do the math, so I'm just going to use the program to tell me this. I'll go up on this side, 56 and 12. Now, we could do the math, but I'm just going to be lazy because I want to use the tools. So I'm going to offset 12 and offset that one that direction, this one this direction, this one this direction, and go ahead and use trim and trim these pieces out of here. So that's the basic shape that we have when we're looking at it um, on this view right here. All right, now we only have a 2D version of this on there, so we'll go ahead and click Home, and it should switch to that. I'm going to use Press Pull and go inside that right there and move that over that way, and the depth of it was 50 millimeters. All right, so then uh, we decided that the radius on that, the fillet radius, was going to be, click that, click that, click on that part, and we're going to make the radius 25, enter, and then any other lines that we want to select, which would be that one and that one, and right-click and enter, and it should do that. Now, remember I said before in a previous video that when you press pull, it leaves those things there, uh, the original drawing you had. We don't want that and don't need it, so we're going to hit erase and make a window around that and get rid of that part right there. So now we've got most of that done. Um, if we change this, our UCS, uh, we're going to change that to the right side, go right there, and we'll click here. So what we should be able to do now, we're in the XY plane. We're looking at it from the reverse side, but that's okay. That diameter going through that from this center point there, shift right click center, is um, 26. So I'm going to switch this back this way to see where it put it, and it put it right on the end, which is what I was hoping it would do. And then when we extrude this, you can extrude it all the way through that part. Click subtract, subtract from this part here, this part there. So, and it, that that's it. We're done with that. So then, um, from here, we'll just go ahead and save that part. So we should save this one as 208-6-46, and it is a saddle. Oops, got to spell stuff right. It's a saddle. And click OK or save there. And then we're going to go to the print and make the PDF file um, extents. Center the plot preview. That's exactly what we want. So we'll click plot. And it should pop that in down there in the bottom right below that as we go on to the next one. Okay, that's it. This is what you would submit if you were to get a quiz or if you had a test. All right. Okay, fair enough. Time to move on to the next one.